Hello friends hope everything is fine with you guys in this lecture we will take a look at another cool css property that is box shadow property we are proceeding from our previous lecture where we have created this this time we will extend this project and we will apply box shadow to this container so let's add box shadow and let me explain how you can use it so let's come here and let's add a line hash container on hover now remember there shouldn't be any space between this and colon so hash container colon on hover this time we will apply box shadow now how box shadow works what is box shadow box shadow is you are applying a shadow to this container so container on hover i mean this box shadow effect will will happen only on hover so let's see how it works so first you need to write the property name that is box shadow now let's provide 5 pixel 5 pixel 5 pixel another 5 pixel and let's provide a color say hash 333 now provide a semicolon so what is this the first 5 pixel is for the horizontal distance next 5 pixel for vertical distance next 5 pixel for the blur next 5 for the spread so the first one is horizontal displacement i mean to say here the box shadow will be applied just 5 pixel from the left 5 pixel from the top 5 pixel will be blurred and the spread will be 5 pixel and the color will be hash 333 which is kind of dark gray now let's save it come here hit refresh you can't see because we didn't hover yet let's hover over it now you can see it let's increase the horizontal value let's make it say 20 now you will see that now the shadow will be placed around here i mean it will be shifted from the left so let's refresh and here it is as i have told you now here is the blur let's increase the blur to 15 save it come here hit refresh see now it's more blurred now horizontal is 20 let's make vertical 20 save it now you will see that the box shadow will shift from the top towards down here it is another is this blur let's make it 10 and let's increase this spread to 25 pixel oh my god <laughs> let's refresh here it is oh my god let's decrease this value let's make it say 2 pixel you can even skip that also you can also delete it come here hit refresh now increase the blur to say around 25 come here hit refresh yeah it is looking cool isn't it and also let's decrease the horizontal and vertical values Yep, it is looking cool, isn't it? You can also change the color. You can even make it red. Come here, hit refresh. Oh my god, it's red. Now 
now there is another thing this is you can say a drop shadow let me change it to hash 333 save it hit refresh well this is a drop shadow what if you want to have an inner shadow can you guess yes for this you need to add just a keyword that is inset let me create another div here it is div with a class of say inner shadow close the div and here just write dot inner shadow now copy this style press control c control v it's shadow not shad pw <laughs> and also we need to provide a width property of say around 200 pixel and also a height of say around 200 pixel and also let's provide a background color let's provide a blue color that's it now come here hit refresh there we go we have a drop shadow but we want to make it inner shadow so right here inset that's it this is the keyword now come here hit refresh here is the inner shadow now you can see it isn't it what if we want this only on hover nothing else on hover we will have only this effect so let's cut it press ctrl x and mention here dot inner shadow and paste it save it hit refresh come here so now save it come here hit refresh there is our div and see when you are hovering over you are having an inner shadow so this is the drop shadow and here we have the inner shadow so that's it friends in this lecture we have seen how you can provide drop shadow and inner shadow to html elements i hope you have enjoyed it so here i conclude this lecture see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care